In this tutorial, we will see how to create a DeepChem dataset and use it. Data loaders of DeepChem can read data from various file formats like CSV, JSON, as well as Python objects like NumPy arrays and Pandas data frame. DeepChem dataset can be readily used with machine learning models and algorithms for training and evaluating purposes. For handling data, for handling data, DeepChem uses its DeepChem.data API. To get started in Colab, we need to install DeepChem first. We, and for this purpose, we will use pip as our package manager. And then we import DeepChem. In this tutorial, we will be using DeepChem 2.6 developmental version. First, I will be saying about how to create a data set from a NumPy array. We have generated a random data, random samples as X and Y using NumPy's random generator. X are the futures and Y are the labels. To convert this into a DeepChem data set, we use data set dc.data.numpy data set utility with x and y so this creates a numpy data set so the data set is of type numpy data set the data set in, is an abstract class in deepchem it has a few subclasses that can correspond to different ways of storing and accessing the data the classes under data set class are numpy data set disk data set and image data set NumPy dataset is an in-memory dataset that holds all the data in NumPy arrays. It is a useful tool when manipulating small to medium sized dataset that can fit entirely in memory. Disk dataset is a dataset that has been saved to disk. The data is stored in a way that it can be efficiently accessed even if the total amount of data is far larger than your computer's memory. So for this purpose, disk dataset divides the dataset, partitions the dataset into different shards and use it for computational purposes or for that is for training and evaluating machine learning algorithms. So image dataset is a more specialized class that stores some or all of the data in image files on this. It is useful when working with models that have images as their inputs or output. Now we print the data set. So uh, a data set has the following information first, the type of the data set, then X, Y, W, IDs and task names. So a data set stores a list of samples. Uh, very roughly speaking, a sample is a single data point. It might correspond to an experimental assay an image or many other things. For every sample, the dataset stores the following information. Its futures are stored as X, are referred as X. So this is the input that should be fed into the model to represent the sample. The labels of the sample are referred as Y. This is the desired output from the model. model. So during training, the, it, the, we train the model's output for each sample as close as possible to Y. The weights are referred to as W. This can be used to indicate that some data points or some samples are more important than the other. In the later tutorials, we will see how this is useful. An ID is a unique identifier for the sample. This can be anything as long as it is unique. Sometimes it can just be an integer index or in other cases it can be a smile string representation of a molecule. The task names represent the learning task in each data set. This will be very useful for multitask learning purposes when we have to train the data set on different tasks. So the data set object also has other utilities which can 
help in assessing and processing the data set one is the data set dot get shape of which get which prints the shape of the data set so here we see that the shape of x is 5 comma 2 and the shape of y is 5 and then the weight shape is 5 comma uh, and then the ids are 5 and data set dot get statistics of print the mean and standard deviation for the futures so the first the first data point here is the mean for the two different x futures we have x1 and the x2 and the second one is the standard deviation for the futures for each future available we have two futures and hence two standard deviations and the third one is the y mean and then the y standard deviation and then the y standard deviation so for example we for example if we print the data mean of data set dot y we get the value as it is in the previous cell data set dot w prints the weight of the data set in our scenario all data points has equal weights and it implies that each data point is equally important in the training purposes for iterating to the data set for iterating by each sample it provides data set dot iter samples of function so this iterates the data set each sample one by one so deep games data set is interoperable with data set with other data formats like pandas data frame tensorflow and csv files etc to convert a data set into a pandas data frame all we need to do is call two data frame of utility so df equal to data set dot two data frame of and this converts the data set into a pandas data frame okay. so and we can also load data set from a data frame for this purpose we call dc dot data dot numpy data set from data frame object so here we are converting the data frame df back into a data set so and then this returns the data set what we had before now we can also use the data set utility to read data sets from csv file formats for demonstration purpose we will first create a data frame.csv file from the data frame which we are having and then we will load it so and to read a data set first we need to create a loader object and then from the loader we create a data set using the loader we create a data set so we need to load a csv file hence we are calling dc.data.csv loader of so this function has four key arguments the first one is task this future field and the id field and then futurizer task represents the y label or what you are predicting so in our case it is the column named y and hence task is y the future fields are the attributes which acts as future of a sample our futures are x1 and x2 and hence the future fields are x1 and x2 id fields are the index which we have explicitly as ids and hence we are representing it as represent we are the are the argument for id fields is ids and futurizer so what why we need this futurizer attribute futurizer argument for many machine learning algorithms the data has to be futurized before training purposes for example in case you have molecules you will need to you might be you might your need might be to represent the molecules as a future of its chemical compounds or the elements in it in that case you might 
यू सेट फ्यूसरेसर और इन केस यू हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट द मॉलिक्यूल्स एज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द बॉन्ड्स एंड एटम्स इन इट यू माइट यूज एन डिफरेंट फ्यूसरेसर सो इन आवर सिनेरियो वी नीड टू रिप्रेजेंट द डेटा एज इट इज सो वी डोंट नीड टू फ्यूसरेस इट सो फॉर दिस पर्पस वी यूज डीप कैम्स डमी फ्यूसरेसर so dummy futureizer returns the data set as it is without futureizing it returns the futures the attributes as it is so with these arguments we first create a loader and then from the loader we we call the loader as create data set utility which returns in data set object so we call create data set with the file name in case if the file is in different location you need to specify the full file path at this place so we create a data frame dot csv file we create a data set from data frame dot csv file and then we have print the data set a point to note here is the data set is of class disk data set data set loaded from the disk or of the disk data set class and deep games data set are also interoperable with other data formats say for example you want to use this data set with a tensor flow model you can convert it into a tf data set tensor flow data set by calling data set dot make tf data set data set of function we calling this one make tf data set function like to data frame this function make tf data set of convert the data set into a tensor flow data set so in case you are excited about deep cam and want to get more involved these there are some things which you can do right now you can start deep cam on github this will help us build awareness of the deep cam project the deep cam github channel hosts a number of scientists developers and enthusiasts interested in deep learning and for using deep cam in their projects so you can just join jump there to get a channel and join the conversation you can also join the deepcam forums and introduce yourself thank you